Hi. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to the live stream, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be trying to break 500 miles today. Uh, yeah, 23 hours is under a day. Uh, I'm not really worried about driving for that long. Um, take a look around. I know you can't. There's no one else in the car. To save weight, I'm going by myself. My primary concerns, actually my main concern is actually getting pulled over. Because I'm not going through any uh, major urban areas, but I am going to go through some small towns. Uh, and um, not any major highways, but some rural highways. So my primary concern is actually being pulled over. Uh, I took everything into account. I took weight into account. There's only the essentials in the car. There's a laptop for the streaming, a few extra batteries, um, a box of granola bars, some water bottles, and two fans. So uh, later in the day tomorrow, it's going to get to it about 90, which is good because that's about the op optimal temperature for the car. But I'm going to get hot, and I'm not going to use the AC whatsoever. So I brought two independent battery-powered fans, um, and that's really about it. The only way this car could get any lighter is even if, if even I wasn't in it. I took wind into account, uh, heat, weather, weight. Uh, the tires are slightly overinflated. I wanted to keep them completely stock. I wanted to keep them at their stock running PSI of 45, but I did a little bit of investigating into efficiency gains by slightly overinflating the tires, and even so much as 5 PSI can add like 6 to 7% more efficiency, so I added another 5 PSI. So right now, they're running at about 50 PSI. Uh, so I took everything I could possibly think of into account. I'm going to turn everything off in the car, I'm not going to use the car's GPS. Uh, I'm going to set all the screens to completely dim. Uh, like I said, no AC, no radio, nothing. Uh, which is kind of a bonus in this live stream in that you guys are going to kind of act like my robot Wilsons to my Tom Hanks. You're going to keep me from going insane. Basically, there are three legs to the route I'm taking. The first will be... Um, downhill, the first, there is a, for an initial downhill segment, because I wanted to break 500, no half measures, I wanted to do everything I possibly could to try and hit 500, and then the second, uh, will be about six hours in, and that's kind of when I hit flats, and when wind will come into effect, and for about the first half part of the second leg, I'll have a roughly eight mile an hour wind, uh, pushing me, I'll have an eight mile an hour tailwind. So that'll really help, but then about halfway through the second leg, it'll turn into a slight crosswind. It'll kind of hit the rear right quarter section of the car. I don't really know if that'll help or hinder, or if that'll just be a wash, I'm not sure, we'll find out. Primarily the route is um, west to east, but, but then for the third leg, I'm going to turn left and I'm going to head north, and that crosswind will turn into a full tailwind, and it'll be going at about 30, mile an hour, 30 miles an hour. So I have a 30 mile an hour tailwind helping me in the last leg. I'm going to turn off everything. I mean, literally everything. Uh, climate will stay off. I have two fans in the... Whoop, come on. Uh, I have two fans up here. They're just battery powered. I'm just going to sit right up here to get some airflow during the day. Um, I mean, in case I accidentally turn it on again, I'm going to specify the AC stays off. So just the vents will come on if I accidentally turn it on. Um, no radio. Uh, as few lights as possible, just everything you can turn off will be off. In fact, I'm going to go through every single setting and make sure that everything I can turn off is off. When I can, I'll set suspension to low, even though I'm only going 22. If it makes even a quarter of a percent of difference, that's big enough a difference to me. Here we go. Suspension low. Drive slow. Uh, slowly, slowly, slowly. It is so tempting to just floor it, because that's what I'd like to do in this car. second I thought my GPS was frozen, it's just I'm moving so slowly. We've traveled 
something like six miles, and I've only used one mile of energy. We are running efficient as fuck. After I crested that long hill I was going up, and after kind of the rain, the rain cut out, uh, for a long time I was regening energy for about four miles. Uh, I was regening energy, and I think that warmed up the battery because I noticed that oh, I got a company me. Um, I noticed that about halfway through this energy regen, it stopped regening, consumed a little bit of energy. And the car made a venting noise, kind of like a semi releasing the pressure in its brakes, uh, and then it started regening again. So I think that was the battery expelling excess heat, which makes me think it's now fully warmed up. It's only 48 degrees right now, but I think the battery is now fully warmed up and efficient uh, because for a long time we were at a, I was at a perfectly flat elevation, and I was consuming almost no energy. It was like perfect equilibrium. I had a slight tailwind, and it was perfectly flat, and I was just barely waving up and down between consuming and regening, consuming, regening, and I used about one mile of energy for 15 miles right now. Uh, we've traveled, since leaving the supercharger, 91.7 miles, 91.8 with an average efficiency of 161 watt hours per mile. It's looking pretty good for 500 miles. Uh, I mean, look at this right here. This is a 30 mile graph, projected 850 miles. I don't think that's gonna happen. But over the past 30 miles, average 77 watt hours per, uh, watt hours per mile. Really efficient. Uh, I've been driving 109 miles so far, average efficiency of 133 watts per mile watt hours per mile. So far I've gone 128.4 miles at 131 watt hours per mile. So I think we're still set. Uh, let's set it to 30 miles. Yeah, the projected range based on the past 30 miles is 658 miles. So we'll see what happens. Earlier I said my primary concern was getting pulled over and I've passed by like three different cops now and they don't seem to care. One cop though, actually a state trooper, stayed behind me for maybe like a minute and then just drove off. My guess is he was running my plates and then found nothing wrong with them and then drove off. So I think I will be driving for another 15 and a half hours. That's when I should get to the last supercharger, assuming I get there, which I think I will. For the sake of data and statistics, I've driven 172.6 miles at an average of 131 watt hours per mile. And for the past 30 miles, I've been driving at 119 watt hours per mile. So, I'm liking what I'm seeing. When I planned out this route, I knew that on at this specific time, in about a half hour, I'm gonna make a left and go north. I'm gonna get a massive tailwind about 30 miles an hour, and it's gonna. I could very well overshoot my target. I might even get close to 600 miles an hour, or 600 miles on the charge, but that might be stretching it. I'm definitely going to hit 500 now. And all it took was driving at 22 miles an hour for 21 hours across two states with no stops, no brakes. But I mean, who's counting, right? I think right now I'd like to point out the fact that I drove 1,000 miles just to get to the starting point. It took about 18 hours of charging stops as a warm up, got about four hours of sleep, and then embarked on this journey. So I am way out of my head right now. That's okay. I'm mean, so good to drive, don't worry. So the live stream idea was basically doomed from the start. Between bad laptop batteries and bad data connections, there's really no way it was gonna work. But what never stopped working was the car. 24 hours, 22 miles an hour between two states, and we just recently hit 500 miles on a single charge, and we still have energy left. By the time I get to the final charging station, I'll still have plenty of energy. 
I'll probably drive around the town a little bit to try and put as much mileage on this record as I can, but this is far beyond my expectations. I fully expect it to be limping into the supercharging station, but I'm gonna be striding in and then taking a victory lap around the town. I just don't even know what to say. I've been in this car for 24 hours, no brakes, no stops, and I don't have a single complaint.